Of course, we knew once the German occupied Slovakia, our uh, document that exempted us from deportation won't be worth the paper it was written on. And uh, we knew that uh, when the German uh, uh, Gestapo, which was the secret uh, police, when they will work with the Hlinka Guard, which was the Slovak police that was responsible for arresting the Jews, when they work together, cooperate together, they will be very efficient. They will put spies in the villages and town uh, to spy on the remainder of the Jews, which were about 25,000. And also, uh, we were afraid in the village, sooner or later, we didn't know who was our friend, who was our enemy. So sooner or later, somebody will betray us, and therefore we decided that we have to leave the village. But of course, with a name like Reichenthal, we wouldn't have got very far, because it is a German name. But we were not German. They would have known immediately that we were Jewish. At every train station or crossroad, there was police, and if you went, uh, they would stop the cart uh, if anybody went, or uh, in the uh, train station you have to identify yourself. And uh, we knew that uh, uh, we wouldn't get very far. So we needed false paper. The local priest, uh, Ladislav, Father Ladislav Harangozo, he was a very good friend of uh, my parents. My parents used to socialize with him. They used to uh, go uh, playing cards uh, every week, having a social drink. And uh, he was a good man. He did not preach uh, the lies that the government was trying to spread in the church. He didn't uh, preach against the Jews. He was a good man and one Evening, when they were playing cards, my mother said, Father Harangozo, we decided to leave the village because we don't know uh, who is our friend, and sooner or later somebody will betray us. But with our uh, document, we wouldn't get very far. Can you get us a false document with a typical Slovak name? And so he agreed, and within very short time, he provided us with document with the name Vida. Vida was a typical Slovak name, just like in Ireland, Murphy or Connor is a typical Irish name. So I remember that name, and I will never forget it, because at the time, every day, my parents were drilling it into my head. If anybody asks you what is your name, you say Thomas Vida. If you say Thomas Reichenthal, we will be betrayed and terrible things will happen to us. And they would tell me this several, day, several times at the, so that I don't, don't forget. And uh, so we got the uh, paper and uh, my mother, my brother and myself left the village uh, sometime in September uh, to go to Bratislava and from there to this uh, new place we will go to live and pretend that we were Gentiles because nobody knew us. But the priest also said you know, when you go to the new village, your children will have to go to school. Because if they don't go to school and they're uh, roaming the street, or thing, people will get very suspicious. Why not? So he... Uh, he agreed to teach us a little bit about the uh, Catholic religion. So when we go to the school and uh, they discuss uh, religion, we won't be uh, 
uh, totally uh, ignorant. I remember it was about two, three weeks every day we went for a couple of hours to Father Haranguzo and he would teach us about the prayers that the children pray in the morning before the uh, school day start. He taught us about the various uh, holidays in the uh, Roman Catholic calendar. He taught us about the station of the cross, how to uh, cross ourselves, how to make a grace, all these basic uh, little things. So we were not uh, totally ignorant. Now I have to add that if at that time uh, the priest was discovered uh, to the authority, uh, they wouldn't put him on trial. They would have taken him out and they would have shot him. So it was very heroic of the priest to do what he did for us. And uh, he actually passed away in 1976. I was in Slovakia for the first time after I left Slovakia in 1989 and I actually went to the grave of Father Harangozo and in my own way thanked him for what he did for us uh, because really he put his life on the line even though in the end unfortunately uh, it didn't help us but uh, he took a very very serious risk 